what I'm going to do is show you guys how to rest your legs when you're in hooks. And if you're in hooks a long time, you'll want to do this. So remember my short line right here? Okay. I'll just set it high up here like that. All right. And then I'm just going to step down. All right. I'm going to step down. I'll send my line down here in a second. All right. All right. So see how, see how that is right there. Oh, see that? And I can just rest. I climbed for years, years and years without resting. And I, my legs, my shins, I have, I have calcium buildup on my, on my shins. Climbers know from it, from it just wearing and grinding on there. So now I do this. No need to torture yourself. And see how that is right there? That's not good. See how I'm looking at my stuff? It's okay, I got my flip line on there. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. What I should have did is made sure that this was on top. That's why you always want to be double flipped in. I've had branches come in carabiners and open them up. I've had branches disconnect my carabiner on my saw and send it. Legs are nice and rested up. I'll send this bag back down to him. And we'll rock and roll. Rock and roll. I only have to get this thing to about a 20 foot stem and then, then we can just dump the whole thing. Which is nice. It's a good firewood here. Okay, so to get back up, you just push, push against the tree. And get those hooks back in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that carabiner around. I'm going to flip this thing around just like that. Yep, that's good. All right. Then what I'm going to do is get my rope stowed behind me again. And just remember, for every action, there's a reaction. Okay. Everything looks good. Nice and cozy. Chunk away. Definitely can feel the relief in my shins from the rest. All right, start taking some bigger pieces here. This tree's starting to straighten out, so that makes it easier on me to get these pieces off. He's coming down. The bark is still connected on the back, so take my handsaw. No, no reason to fight it. Put a little score mark in it. Chunk coming down.
So as I'm spurring down, I'm looking at where I want to fall and stick that hook. Use that for a little wedge. that freaking piece up for me so I can get through on the other side. I'll be grabbing some bark every time now if I can. Coming off the backside, once you go, you just gotta go for it.